Today we will discuss about the Francis turbine, which are the parts of the Francis turbine and how it will work. Firstly, we will discuss about the runner of the Francis turbine. Runner of the Francis turbine has vanes. This is the top view of the runner. In the runner, water will come in the radial direction and will go outside in the axial direction. This is the casing for the Francis turbine in which our runner will be installed and over the runner we have guide vanes. These are the fixed vanes which will guide the water for rotating in the runner. Now we see the working of Francis turbine. What will happen when water will come radially and come, go outside with the axial direction? then rotor will start rotating. Now we see this working in this casing. When water will come through the casing, it will rotate in the casing and by the rotation, it will enter in the guide vanes. From the guide vanes, it will enter in the runner blades and runner will start rotating. The pressure and kinetic energy both are used in the Francis turbine for rotating the runner. Now we understand Francis turbine working with another figure. In this figure we can clearly understand the working of Francis turbine. In the above figure we have casing, runner and guide vanes and in the lower figure we have this cutting section of the spiral casing and this is runner. This is guide vein. This is also guide vein for guiding water to the runner. And this is the draft tube, which will help in the velocity drop of the coming water in the axially direction. Now we see the working of Francis turbine. When water will enter, and it will enter in the guide vanes, then guide vanes guide this water to the rotor vanes or runner vanes, then runner will start rotating. And in the lower figure we can see that water will come from casing and guide vanes guide the water to the runner. Runner will start rotating and water will go outside in the axially direction in the draft tube. So this is the working of Francis turbine. Thank you for seeing this video. For more updated videos, you can subscribe me on my channel, Learn and Grow. Thank you. In Kaplan turbine, there is a runner with a hub and vanes are attached to the hub. This is the partially axially flow turbine. This is the top view of the Kaplan turbine runner. This is the casing for the Kaplan turbine in which we have guide vanes for guide the flow of water and runner installed in the casing. When water will come in the axially direction, it will go outside also in the axially direction and rotor will start rotating. Water will go outside in axially direction. This is the top view shows us that this is rotating and in the casing water will come and it will rotate in the casing and will go inside through the guide vanes and runner will start rotating. So this is the another figure for the Kaplan turbine. In this we have this figure, above figure and this below figure. Now we see the working of the Kaplan turbine through these two figures. Water will come and strike to the rotor and rotor will start rotating. And in the below figure, water will come through the guide vanes and it will actually in, in the rotor vanes and rotor will start rotating and the water will go outside also in the axial direction. This is draft tube for converting kinetic energy into static pressure. 
so this is the working of kaplan turbine comparison between kaplan and francis turbine these are several points for comparison between kaplan and francis turbine francis is a mixed flow or radial inward flow turbine but kaplan is a partially axial flow turbine francis turbine disposition of shaft is in also in vertical or horizontal direction but in kaplan turbine disposition of shaft is only in vertical direction francis turbine has very large number of blades about 16 to 24 but kaplan turbine has very small number of blades about 3 to 8 francis turbine runner vanes are not adjustable but kaplan turbine blades we can adjust them according to requirement francis turbine is a medium head turbine and kaplan turbine is a very low head turbine specific speed of the francis turbine is 50 to 250 but as compared to kaplan turbine specific speed is 250 to 850 so these are the differences between the kaplan and francis turbine thank you for seeing this video for more updated videos you can subscribe me on my channel learn and grow thank you